We're now joined by Leila Moran, a Liberal Democrat member of Parliament. Good to have you with us. So Hello. does the battle go on for Remainers in the Liberal Democrat uh, Party? Well, yes. I mean, our values remain unchanged. We accept that obviously the general election didn't go the way that we wanted. We accept that Brexit has happened and that happened at yesterday at 11 o'clock. And I've been out talking to people on doorsteps who voted Remain just this morning. Everyone's quite despondent. Some are very angry. Uh, some, however, have also expressed the need to now, well, make the most of whatever is in front of us. And actually, whilst that major battle has been lost, there are still many more to come. There is a very difficult trade agreement that will need to be reached in reality by the summer. And then no deal, which is a catastrophic outcome for the UK still remains on the table if that deal can't be struck. struck. We also have to maintain environmental standards, workers' rights, and ensure the rights of EU citizens in the UK and indeed UK citizens who live elsewhere in Europe. There's a huge amount of work still to do and the Liberal Democrats, as we always have been, will be at the forefront of ensuring the closest possible relationship that we can now forge in the weeks and months ahead. Do you think the government's doing the right thing in preparing for full border checks on EU goods, as has been reported, apparently trying to take a sort of hard line in negotiations to get as much, uh, I guess, as possible out of the other side? I think the government is taking a rather reckless approach to the upcoming trade agreement. I think they somehow think that by playing hardball with the EU, they're going to bend. But actually, the fact is, the European Union has a long history now of being an incredibly tough negotiator. And people are negotiating with the EU. Uh, they know that that uh, they have a tough partner. It's one of the reasons why uh, Donald Trump doesn't like the EU that much, because he knows that to be true. And I think Britain, in its uh, in its decision to go with Brexit and the Conservative Party in particular, I'm thinking of the right wing, the ones who have been pushing for this for a long time, which of course includes Boris Johnson, will have underestimated how strong that bloc can be. And actually, it's up to progressives and Remainers like myself and my colleagues in the Liberal Democrats to try and make the case for why the government needs to take a more constructive approach. Because the fact is, unless we reach a deal, then the worst of all worlds will happen and it'll happen far sooner than we'd like. And that will mean jobs, it will mean prosperity, and it will mean actually the poorest in our society suffering the most. And that's what we absolutely have to avoid at this stage. All right, thanks so much. Leila Moran there. Thank you.